This video demonstrates a transtendinous endoscopic approach to repair of partial thickness tears of the gluteus medius. We begin with a fluoroscopic insertion of the cannula and use four portals, an anterolateral, posterolateral, mid-anterior, and distal peritrochanteric. This is the shaver being used in the peritrochanteric space to perform a trochanteric bursectomy. The majority of the bursa is excised, and we examine the gluteus medius muscle belly and tendon insertion at this point using the probe. And we can get a clue that there is an undersurface tear here. The transtendinous technique employs a longitudinal incision made in the gluteus medius tendon using a beaver blade. You'll note that from the peritrochanteric space, looking at the superficial part of the tendon, the tendon appears intact. However, the partial thickness tearing lies on the deep surface of the tendon. It is through this longitudinal split that we can access those deep fibers. Uh, this is analogous in many ways to a partial thickness undersurface tear of the rotator cuff, or another analogy would be to lateral epicondylitis, where there is degeneration of the deep fibers of the tissue. Here we perform a debridement of those degenerated and pathological deep fibers where the tendinosis and partial thickness tearing lies. We'll then perform a decortication of the lateral facet of the greater trochanter using a burr to create a bleeding bed of bone for healing of the subsequent repair. It is in this bone that we will place our anchor. The anchor will be placed into the lateral facet of the greater trochanter through the transtendinous split. This can be done under fluoroscopic guidance to ensure correct angle of anchor placement and that the anchor will be placed in good bone of the femur. Usually two anchors are placed, one in the more distal part of the lateral facet and one in the more proximal part of the lateral facet. These will be used for a side-to-side -side mattress repair. Now placed our anchor and we will use a suture lasso shuttle device in order to pass the sutures through the tendon. Our goal is a side-to-side -side mattress stitch repair, so we will intend to pass one limb of suture from each suture through the more anterior limb of the tendon, and one limb from each suture through the more posterior limb of the tendon. When these are subsequently tied down outside of the tendon, this will accomplish a side-to-side -side repair and reapproximation of the good tendinous fibers to the bleeding bed of bone that we have created. We've passed one limb of the suture through the tendon in the anterior part at the top of the screen. And now having completed the passage of all four limbs of suture, we tie these side to side knots using standard arthroscopic knot tying technique. This is done in this case through the posterolateral portal while viewing through the distal peritrochanteric portal.